Welcome to the Cherries TV. <laughs> well Welcome to the Cherries TV. My name is Abby and I'm a fragrance lover. I love anything that smells, feels, and smells good, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here again for another video. Guys, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me here for another video, you guys. Um, today I wanted to share 10 fragrances that it was love at first sniff for me. Now, I might make this into a part two video as well. This is the part one and I might make another one because there's a lot of fragrances that are love at first sniff that were love at first sniff for me. And um, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna keep you guys here too long. So we're gonna definitely jump right into this. Um, but before we do, let me go ahead and put some more lip gloss on because guys, my lip gloss is definitely not popping anymore. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified for every single video that I do post. So the first fragrance that was a love at first sniff for me is one that is very sexy. When I smelled it, I was just like, oh my God. I have to have this in my collection. And I instantly said that I need to have this um, as a backup. I need to have it forever in my collection. And it's from the House of Mancera. And if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you would know exactly what fragrance it is. It is Mancera's instant crush now you guys know how much i love instant crush by mancera first of all let's get into this gold bottle you guys know i love black and gold and instant crush has that gold effect in it oh guys i love 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 instant crush guys one thing about instant crush is that it's alluring it's sexy a lot of people compare it to Baccarat Rouge 540. I do get the vibes, but at the end of the day, I feel like this is its own fragrance. If Baccarat Rouge 540 smelled just like this, I would have loved it 10 times more. This is probably like my go-to sexy, alluring fragrance. Like when I'm going out and I don't know what to wear, I go ahead and just pick this out. Like it's a no-brainer. It's all year round. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. So if you haven't tried this one, it's good. The next fragrance that was a love at first sniff is from the house of Tom Ford, which is my favorite house of all time. And this fragrance is just to die for. It is one that I was not it was not the first fragrance from the house I loved, but this was the first one that I um, was so shocked about because I did not think it smelled that good. I've seen it plenty of times, I just never really smelled it because I was like, mm, it's probably not that good. But guys, I was so wrong. The moment I sniffed it, I said, oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. And it's from the house of Tom Ford, of course, and it is Tom Ford's Noir Pouffe. This is the female version. This is so good, guys, it's a sexy, alluring oriental vanilla fragrance it has some smoky notes in it it's crowd pleasing for the winter time guys it's definitely crowd pleasing but it's not one that's like mainstream like everybody and their mom have no it's definitely one that you have you know you guys already know time for come out with these bangers you guys have to have the nose for the these Tom Ford fragrances. That's it. So um, this is one of those that I really love, and I feel like it's one of those that more people would love. It's from the signature collection, and it is just to die for. And I remember the first time I sniffed it at Neiman's, like it was yesterday, guys. I sniffed it and I said to the lady, I have to have this. And then um, you guys know that I like a good deal on a budget so the what when i realized that i loved it so much i told the lady you know what i gotta go home didn't buy it from her because i don't know if y'all know but these this is expensive and i got this on um fragrance net for about 70 dollars i think um so that was a good deal versus buying it for a hundred plus um and this is the 50 ml Guys, it's alluring, it's beautiful, and it was love at first sniff. So if you haven't tried this one already, which I know a lot of people have, go ahead and try it. It's, it's, it's grown up, it's grown and sexy, guys. I love it, I love it, I love it. So go ahead and try that one. The next fragrance that I love that was a love at first sniff is one that I'm a little bit late to. And it's okay, it's okay to be late to these fragrances. And this one is one that I got for my birthday. And um, the moment I sniffed it, I said I have to have this. And it was gifted to me for my birthday. And it's one from the house of Lancome. 
and it is Lancome's La Nuit Tresor. La Nuit Tresor, oh my God. First of all, I fell in love with the bottle. Let's just get that out the way. But the scent, you guys, the scent in this fragrance is good. It's one of those crowd-pleasing sweet fragrances, but it's taken on a different take. It's, it's, it's so good. It's sweet. It's long-lasting. You guys know anything that Lancome makes is long-lasting. I haven't really had any problem with any of Lancome fragrances not being long-lasting now that I think about it. Their fragrances are very heavy here to fragrances for a designer house. Designer fragrances are just it for me. Like they're nice. There's I love niche fragrances as well, but this one is it. And when I smelled it, it was a love at first sniff, and I said I had to have it. And guys, <laughs> I love this one. So if you haven't tried it already, go ahead and try it. And they have a lot of different flankers as well, but this one by far is the OG, and I love the OG. So La Nutriosor is definitely one that I like. Love at first sniff. All right, guys, the next fragrance that is a love at first sniff. This one was actually my signature scent for years, and I love it, guys. And it is from the house of Coach, and it is Coach New York. Now, Coach is really good with these fragrances. These fragrances are amazing. You can tell by the dent of this fragrance that I really, really enjoy it. Guys, this is... Oh. This is basically what probably opened my nose to loving rose as a note in general because um, this fragrance, I didn't even know it had rose in it until I looked at the notes when I became a fragrance lover on YouTube. And guys, it just was like a light bulb, like, ooh, now I know where I love rose from, like where I got that loving from. This was love at first sniff and it's gonna be always be love at first sniff. I have a backup bottle of this and I think I need another backup bottle because this one is amazing. Oh, Coach New York is definitely one that I wear during the spring and summer times. Guys, if you haven't tried this already, go ahead and try this one. The next fragrance that I love, 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 and it is from the house of Tom Ford as well, which was a love at first sniff for me in my opinion, is one that, oh, a lot of people don't like, but for me, it was different. It was alluring. It was just wow. And um, I had to get it. And it is from the House of Tom Ford, like I said, about three times. <laughs> and it is Tom Ford's Metallic. Wow. This right here, I had to get me 100 ml of it because it's such a nice vanilla, vanilla fragrance. It's like a vanilla ice cream. Like, it's like, like my friend Winter Michelle here on YouTube and Instagram be saying, it's like taking a cold metal spoon and digging it into a nice cup of vanilla ice cream and just mm, that's how good it smells oh it's so good and i honestly forgot that i have it i don't know why i haven't been wearing this fragrance but i'm definitely gonna be wearing it tomorrow as my scent of the day so tom ford metallic is one that i was falling in love with i fell in love with i was head over heels for this one um and it was definitely a love at first sniff this one was definitely love at first sniff i remember i got it the moment i smelled it so i loved it i loved it and i loved it guys if you are enjoying this video go ahead and like the video if you're enjoying this video more than the next person go ahead and like comment and subscribe now if you're enjoying this video more than everybody that's watching right now go ahead and like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified for every single video that i do post thank you so much let's get back into this video <laughs> The next fragrance that was a love at first sniff is one from the house of Zhirzhov. And guys, this is one the moment I received that decant. I've been on a hunt for this fragrance because it was definitely love at first a sniff. And I've had many chances of buying it, but I didn't. And I'm happy because I got this one for a good deal. And it is from the Cosmorati um, collection and it is Lyra. Guys, Lyra by Zhirzhov is amazing you guys i don't know if any of you guys tried this one before if y'all haven't let me know like find your decant find your decant find you a decant because this thing is hitting it is beautiful you will not regret it it's a nice orange blood orange vanilla like oh 
oh was so good this is probably my favorite if not already my favorite vanilla in my collection and I love it guys if you haven't tried this one already go ahead and try it. you guys seen this pop up in many videos because it's really good it's that good the next um, fragrance that was a love at first sniff is one from the house of um, Lancome but this is their private collection and you guys already know which one this is it's one that is a nice rose it's my favorite rose in my collection and it is Roses Barbaranza. Roses Barbaranza is a beautiful rose fragrance. It has rose, it has pistachio, it has some um, spicy notes in it, it has some woodsy notes in it. It's so good. It's so good. Like in the opening, you get like a burst of that pistachio and rose, but don't get don't get mad because it's one that you know it's a tart. It's a little bit tart in the opening as well, but once that dry down hits after five minutes it starts to dry down you guys it's a beautiful powdery vanilla oh goodness um with rose oh my god y'all mm, i love this fragrance and i feel like i could wear it anytime throughout the whole year i just have to be careful because in the spring and summertime it might choke me because it's really strong and heavy but during this winter time i've been wearing it like crazy like and i've showered myself in it didn't care this one is one that will open the door before you open the door it will greet your guests before you greet the guests guys it's that good it's alluring i love it i love it i love it roses barbaranza love at first sniff that leads me to the next fragrance that i love and love and love and if you guys already know what fragrance it is go ahead and comment down below hashtag the name of this fragrance it's from the same house let's see how you guys know me how well you guys know me go ahead i'll wait All right, all right, all right, all right. If you guessed Oud Bouquet, you got it right. Because Oud Bouquet is definitely one that I fell in love with at first sniff, you guys. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all I love this fragrance, I love this fragrance. This was love at first sniff. This was actually my first Oud fragrance. It was my first Oud and Rose combo fragrance. It was just a first for everything. Like. This is so good, this is so good. This is the one I smelled first and then I smelled Roses Barbaranza. I ended up getting Roses Barbaranza first because I could not get this one. And then later on I was able to get this one. It's so good, it's so good. I love the gold plating right there. Like this is the newer bottle um, and I really love it. I love it, love it, love it. Guys, if you haven't tried this one, go ahead and try it because it's a must have during this winter and fall season that we just went through or that we're still going through guys love at first sniff i love it i can't get enough of it i can't the next fragrance that out is that is a love at first sniff for me is another one from the house of tom ford this is probably like my favorite fragrance from tom ford and i love it i love it i love it um and it is um tom ford's vanilla fatal vanilla fatal is beautiful it's an oriental vanilla as well it's very spicy it's very uber good like mm. Mm -hmm. it's so good you smell the spices and one thing about this fragrance is blended so well you smell the spices in the beginning and then you start to get that vanilla you start to get that oh my god just try it just try it that's it that's all i gotta say love at first sniff now if you're a person that don't like spicy and smoky scents you probably don't want to try it but if you're someone that is open to that or love this type of scent go ahead and try it because you will not regret it i have 100 ml guys that tells you something. I love it. Mm, I love it. Now the last fragrance that is love at first sniff is one that is extremely special to me. It's not only love at first sniff, but this one right here is the one that I'm going to be wearing on my wedding day. It is none other than Tom Ford's Orchid Soleil. Orchid Soleil is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's the first thing I smelled when I smelled this fragrance, the first time I smelled it, I said to myself, I said, ooh, this smells so good. I would love to smell like this on my wedding day. Now guys, I know a lot of you guys probably asking, you guys, you have all these fragrances. You have over 200 bottles of fragrances. Why is this one? Because the moment I smelled it, I said, this is how I want to smell on my wedding day. Of course, I smell different roses, I smell different type of fragrances, but something about this juice right here, no matter how many times I've tried to even change that fragrance, scent, 
for the wedding day I cannot because this is exactly how I want to smell and um, this was definitely a love at first sniff um, Tom Ford Orchid Soleil Thank you so much for making it through this far, guys. If you are new here, don't forget to like this video. Share it with your friends and your loved ones. Share them. Share me with them. I'm not selfish. I like to be shared. Um, when it comes to YouTube, you can share me. Okay? Don't don't hold me out to yourself. I know you want to keep me to yourself. But, you know, it's good to share, guys, because I'm also sharing my love with you guys. Um, so, go ahead and share this video click that like button um comment down below which one of these are your love um at first sniff or if you have other love at first sniffs go ahead and comment down below let's chat let's hit it up in the comments guys um if you made it this far go ahead and spam the comments with red hearts um guys spam the comments with red hearts it'll let me know that you guys are actually interested in these type of videos um if you have not followed me on tiktok or on instagram go ahead and follow me there because I take my time to entertain you guys I just did a white series on my feed on Instagram and now I'm, I'm heading into the red series guys so go ahead and follow me there um, shoot me a like shoot me a follow shoot me a message if you have any questions I will interact with you guys thank you so much for watching this video we will see you at the end of this video please 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 stay safe and keep on smelling phrases bye <laughs>